Good morning, Sassy. Happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sassy. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh, you're one years old. You're literally one. You're one years old. I can't believe it. Did you sleep so good? Hey, did you sleep so good okay? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Happy birthday. You're one years old today. I cannot believe it. Huh? Give me that noonie. What you gotta say? It's your birthday. Clap your hands. It's your birthday. Clap, clap, clap your hands. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Love you. Happy birthday. Good afternoon, sweet girl. Did you take a good nap? Did you sleep so good? Did you sleep so good? <laughs> My birthday girl! You're like, no mommy, don't wake me up. I have to because you won't sleep tonight if I don't. Right? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! giveaway winners I ended up doing two giveaways because why not so let's take a selfies okay Cheese! hey it is editing Lauren and I have I filmed a birth like labor questionnaire like just birth story basically it's like really long though so I'm gonna put it at the end of this video so after Sezzy's goodnight clip I will put this segment because I don't want it to be in the middle of the video and then you stop watching halfway because it's boring you. So if you want to see that part, it's at the very end. Bye. 
It's your birthday! Clap your hands, it's your birthday. Clap, clap, clap your hands, it's your birthday. So good? Yeah. You're an icing girly, huh? <laughs> See her reaction when she gets to the chocolate. I know. That's a beautiful cake, huh? Chunk of icing. This is not good for you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Are <laughs> you taking chunks? Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's just going for the icing beads. Says he. She's like, I know what these are. You taking chunks, girl. Yum, yum, yum. Should we give her the other one? Yeah, yeah. To you. See how you like yayas. That was 
one's pretty cold too. Huh? <laughs> She only uses her right hand. Doesn't use her left, but just her right. It's so funny. <laughs> just going for the icing, huh? Yeah, dig into there. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she was holding on. <laughs> it's so cold, it didn't even smash in her face. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
Yay! Yay! Did you have a good first birthday? Say, yeah, I did. The best. The best first birthday. Ooh. Good night, Daddy. Did you have a good first birthday? I think so. You had a good day. Sleep so good, okay? <laughs> Sleep so good to our one year old. Our big girl! You got some cake today. You got to play with your new toys. <gasps> yeah, and you stood up in your crib this morning. Of course, you just had to do big girl things today. Yeah, we love you. Sleep so good, okay? We love our big one-year-old. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you so much. Sleep so good, okay? Wanna see? Hey, it's Lauren. So I have been wanting to make a birth video, question kind of video, since Sezzy was born and just never happened. And of course, today's her birthday. She turns one, so I figured what better day to do it than today. So I have a few questions um, that I'll answer about like pregnancy and birth and stuff, and then I'll just talk a little bit about it. Sezzy turns one today. I cannot believe it. This year went by so fast. I'm just confused. Like it was the fastest year of our life, but it was the best year. Sezzy's so sweet and she's just the best baby. We are really, really, really lucky. She's the best. Like. I can't even explain it. Here are some questions. How did you find out you were pregnant? Any symptoms? So I had some symptoms like the week before I found out I was pregnant. Um, one of the symptoms was like, so we were out drinking and I always get Tito's and Sprite and I could not for some reason get the drink down. Like my body was rejecting it so bad, which is not normal. Like anytime I would take a sip, I would kind of feel like I would want it to gag. So that was kind of weird. Um, and I had another symptom that I was just like, this is really strange and I was really tired and it was just things that I was like, okay, am I pregnant? Like, and I didn't want to tell Trey anything because I wanted to find out for him. You know, I didn't want to tell him in the moment. I wanted to be able to tell him, like surprise him. So that week was just really strange. So I took a test and Trey was leaving for offshore that morning. Well, actually he had to go into quarantine. This is whenever they were still making him quarantine. So he had to go do like five days of quarantine and then go offshore for a month. So I found out the day he was leaving to go to quarantine. And that was the biggest mistake because then I had to hold the secret in for over a month that I was pregnant. I didn't want to tell anybody. I told one friend because I needed to tell someone, but I didn't want to tell my parents. I didn't want to tell his parents. I didn't want to tell anybody before I could tell him. That was the hardest thing to do. That was so hard. And that was whenever I was really sick. So I couldn't even tell him how I was feeling. So basically he thinks my pregnancy was a breeze because he missed all the hard part of it at the beginning because he was offshore. The pregnancy was not bad at all. Um, I had a, I've had a really easy pregnancy. I just had um, some high blood pressure and like borderline preeclampsia towards the end. So I did have to get induced, which I ended up loving getting induced. I was terrified, but it turned out to be awesome. Um, but postpartum was a whirlwind. It is just like so many emotions. I cried at everything. <laughs> like I cried because I thought Sezzy was so cute, like full on like breakdown cry. Like that was the weirdest thing, but that only lasted for like two weeks. Um, and then I just, you have the normal like overwhelming feeling and kind of crippling like anxiety and it's just like, oh, it was, it was very, you know, it is a, a rough time. And having like Trey go, go out of town for work and me with a new baby and not that much help. Like it was just overwhelming. What has been the hardest period of motherhood for you so far and how do you deal with it? 
Um, the hardest part of motherhood, I think, is just, like, the mental load of everything. Like, I, I stay at home with her all day, so I take care of her all day, and then I'm responsible for, like, cleaning the house and doing laundry and I'm supposed to cook and it's like this is like too much for one person to do so what ends up happening is I don't pick up for a day or two our house becomes a disaster and then I'm left with a literal mess that I have to like spend hours cleaning just for it to end up back in the same place so I think that's the hardest part um other than that like it's really like natural instincts your motherhood skills come in like I was so clueless I said how do people know how to become a mom like I was re I got all kind of books. I didn't even read them, but I would ask my friends, like, how do you know what to do? But it really just comes natural. Like when you have a baby, you just know what to do. And I never believed that whenever people would tell me, but it is true. Was giving birth harder or easier than you thought? It was easier than I thought. I was, I was that person that was terrified of labor, like terrified, like borderline panic attack when I went in there for that induction. Um, it was scary, but it really, I had a very easy labor, that epidural was amazing, that was literally the game changer because those Pitocin cramps and stuff, contractions are not fun. But other than that, it was great. It just sucked having Sezzy go to the NICU for a week after. That was a hard part. Um, but then it did give me time to kind of recover for that week and know she was in good hands. So it has its ups and its downs. <laughs> Is it better to know the baby's gender before or after birth? I I have to find out. Um, I have family members who didn't find out and I just never understood how you could do it. Maybe on like my third kid, but I have to find out because then you just have to like anticipate it the whole time. Like you know what you're having. So props to the people who don't find out, but I could not be one of them. Healthy foods to eat during pregnancy. Well, pregnancy is not easy to eat healthy. I will just say that. I had a meat aversion. I didn't want chicken. I didn't want meat. I literally wanted nothing that was gonna fuel my body. I just wanted carbs and crap and Dr. Pepper and salad and it was basically just like fend for yourself because pregnancy is rough. Like nausea, I had nausea for a long time and it was just not fun. So next pregnancy, hopefully I'll be a lot better about my, my diet because I definitely needed to eat more protein and I was not. Did you want a girl or a boy? Your daughter is adorable, thank you. I wanted a girl really bad. I, I do want a boy too, but I really wanted to have a girl first. That way I wasn't like sitting there waiting for the time to have a girl. Like, you know, I just didn't want to be like having two boys and then that third when you're like, oh my gosh, is it going to be a girl? I'm so glad I got my girl first because I'm satisfied. Like now if I just have girls, okay. But if I have a boy, then awesome. But a boy would be really fun to have, but I really, really, really wanted a girl and I'm very happy I got one. During your pregnancy, were you most, were you active most of the time or bed resting most of the time? I was not very active. That's another thing I would change for next pregnancy. Um, I just basically lounged and chilled and I ran a bunch of errands and stuff, but then towards the end, I had that borderline blood pressure stuff. So I did have to kind of chill for the last month, which was kind of hard to do, but also I was like pretty miserable. I was really swollen and it's just, ugh, once you get to the end, it's not fun. So. I was not active like I should have been, but oh well, what, what can you do about it? I just want to talk a little bit about like my birth and labor and stuff. Um, so I did have to get induced at 37 weeks and so Sezzy was, a, her original due date was January 31st and we had her on January 10th, um, which I was very scared of induction. So if you have an induction coming up and you're nervous, it is, I would not change a thing. It was the best experience ever. I know it's not like that for everybody, but it was really awesome for me. Um, so yeah, I went in at like, I think it was 1 a.m. Um, and I got in that room and I just thought it was gonna be like, you know, relax for a bit. No, it's go time. When you get in there, they start right away. And I was just not prepared for that. I was literally acting like a maniac, I swear. I was asking so many questions, not really, but I was asking so many questions. My, I knew the girl, she was like, Lauren, calm down like the people who have the easiest labors are the ones who relax and just chill and I'm like okay you're right because I just kept asking I was so scared um the part that hurt the most for me besides the Pitocin contractions for the little bit was getting that IV because she didn't do it right the first time and it, I instantly got hot and thought I was gonna faint and got cold sweats um and that needle really big and thick so that hurt really bad um also I have really tough veins so 
That was the worst part about my whole experience was getting that IV. The epidural didn't feel a thing. I was terrified of that too. You literally don't feel it. They're like, okay, it's gonna be a little bit of pressure. And I was like, it basically felt like this. I was like, is that the pressure? And they said, yeah. I was like, yes, that wasn't bad at all. Um, and I actually had a student doing my epidural, which I was, I'm not a person that knows how to say no. And like in the moment I couldn't say no, but I really didn't want a student doing my epidural because that's terrifying. Um, but I didn't know what to do. So I just let him do it. And it was, I was stressed out, but it, it worked out great. The uh, anesthesiologist was literally standing right there the whole time guiding her. Uh, and they were singing, don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. So anytime I hear that song now, I think of my labor. But so yeah, I was, I went there at 1 a.m. and we ended up having her at 6, 17 p.m. So all day we were there. Um, pretty much the day was chill. I kind of slept on and off. Um, and I remember like they came check me and they're like, okay, you're out of four. And then they came check me again. And they're like, all right, you're out of four. And then they came check me again and they were like, all right, it's time to go. And we're like, what? I was just a four. What are you talking about? It's time to go. Like it was crazy. They're like, all right, it's time. And it's just crazy how it's just, I can't even explain it. If you've had a baby, you know, it's just, it's like, okay, I really have to do this right now. It's just so wild to me that I did that, but yeah. And then after we had her, she had some like, I don't know, it was such a whirlwind to me. I still don't even really know what went down. They were working on her for a little bit at the little station in the room. And then I noticed some weird breathing like patterns that she was doing with her chest. But then they were like, no, it's fine, it's fine. I, I said it again, they're like, no, it's fine. Well then again, the my nurse was like, all right, your mom instincts were right. Like there is something they need to take her to the NICU. And I was just so thankful that like they listened to me because I said it like three times. Um, so she did end up going to the NICU for a week. Whenever I was younger, I had a blood transfusion because I had E. coli and like almost died. And it was this crazy thing from a raw burger. Um, so I had blood transfusions and I did um, dialysis every day for a month. So in my blood, I had antibodies that like I shouldn't have, but I do because of a blood transfusion, blood transfusion. So that was attacking SESI, which we knew that I had the antibodies, but they, my doctors had said that it wouldn't affect her, but now we know it did. So going forward, I'm glad we can, we know that information now. So maybe I could get like a shot or something before to not have that happen again. Labor pregnancy was great. It was all really great. Um, yeah, so I really wouldn't change a thing. It was awesome. I can't believe that was a year ago today that we had her. And it's just crazy. We didn't name her for three days because we, Trey didn't want to name the baby before he saw her. And looking back, I'm glad we did not do that. I'm glad we didn't name her before we met her because the name that we wanted, or that we thought the whole pregnancy was going to be her name, would not fit her at all. So I'm very glad we did not but we didn't name her for three days because we couldn't decide. So she was in the NICU as baby girl Derwent. And I was like, it's, it's so sad to have her have no name, but yeah, so she didn't have a name for three days. We finally named her Sezi Josephine and it fits her perfectly. So I'm so thankful that we waited. I did not want to the whole pregnancy. I was trying to pressure Trey, like, come on, can we just name her? Let's just choose a name. Let's just choose a name. And he's like, no, no, no. Good thing we did it. So, yeah, that is pretty much all that I have to say about labor, delivery, all that stuff. Um, so we're, we did the thing.